All right, today I'm going to make a beat only using one shots. So I know a lot of you guys don't have the expensive plugins. So let's make a beat only using one shots. Let's go. Now we're using one shots. Don't forget to reset those. I always keep a little bit of the release because I don't want to add too many effects in afterwards. And I want them to kind of fade into each other and not sound too dry. His accent goes super hard. Before I add any more sounds to the melody, let's add some drums I want to switch to my better headphones.
sides, what I always do, I create a two part pattern, then copy it over and then go into the fourth bar and change some stuff. So it's still very repetitive, but a little bit different in the end. I learned this trick from when I was back in school, when I had to take the bus to school. And sometimes I would be just sitting there and not listening to anything at all. And the only thing I heard from all the people around me from their airpods was hi-hats and claps. And the songs they were listening to had always the same hi-hats, simple hi-hat repetition, hi-hat patterns. And that's what I'm trying to make in my beats as well. Just have a two bar pattern, which repeats over and over again and have some minor changes in there as well. That's being simple, at the same time not being boring. All I do when mixing drums is just leveling some stuff so it sounds a little bit better and I always take down the melody a bit because you don't want the melody to clash too much with the artist's voice afterwards.
Okay, so for arrangement, we have an intro, then an intro with all of it and a bass, where the bass comes in. And then we have the hook. First part of the hook, relatively empty. Second part of the hook, more full. Then we drop into the verse. Where I take out the 808 from the beginning, have less drum sounds, jump into the second part of the verse. Where I take out some of the hi-hats and some of the claps. You don't really hear it if you don't consciously listen for it, but it just gives it more unique stuff during the way, more interesting stuff, but you can still, it doesn't interfere with the flow of the rapper, it just makes the beat more interesting. And then we go into the pre-hook again, this time not with the bass, but with the 808. And then we kind of repeat the process twice. So we have second hook, second verse, pre-hook, third hook, and then an outro where I take out the 808s, just have some drums and just have a simple variation of the melody. That's pretty much our whole beat. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.